there are no jobs for the freshers for the data scientist role so whatever you have seen on the thumbnail that is the harsh reality of the most prominent job profile in the data domain that is data scientist and why is it happening because when you apply in the companies for the data scientist role so 99.9% .9 of the time the companies would be requiring some sort of experience in the data domain itself it could be one plus years experience two plus years experience and so on and when company requires it then definitely if you are applying they might not shortlist your profile then now you might be thinking how the hell other peoples are getting a job in the good product based companies that too on a good compensation for the data scientist role and your question is definitely valid and this is the point where the real drama happens so if you are someone who is the fresher or someone who is working in a different domain or might belong to a different stream and aspire to become a data scientist then you should listen to all the details which I will be sharing in this video today and that is going to be super super helpful for all of you. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and like it right now so that we can spread the awareness together and comment down below if you are also an aspiring data scientist. So I will be sharing these details in two different perspectives. One is the complete pressure. Maybe a student who is about to graduate or has recently graduated and aspire to become a data scientist. Another perspective will be for those people who are already into some sort of job profile but apart from the data domain or it could be in the data domain for a different job role but not the data scientist or maybe other folks who are in a completely different stream maybe non-tech completely and again aspire to become a data scientist so that will be a different perspective but before starting with the main topic i have a very important announcement to make for all the aspiring data analysts starting from the student type of background to any kind of professional and importantly non-tech peoples so if you want to become a highly skilled data analyst and want to crack your dream job in dream companies with a dream package then our data analyst noob 2.0 batch is starting from 9th of december and you still have the opportunity to enroll in this bootcamp early bird coupon code and the joining link has been given in the description or you can visit www.growdataskills.com in this bootcamp you will basically cover the zero to hero journey of becoming a data analyst in just three months and this is our completely industry oriented bootcamp which will cover the industry oriented projects as well and the beautiful thing is that everything every module will be covered from basic to advanced so you don't require any prerequisite just join the bootcamp learn everything in the live classes along with the live doubt support from the mentor who is actually working in the Microsoft itself for the data analytics role. In this new batch, we have upgraded the tech stack as well and have included the data analytics on cloud, which is Azure. So you will be well equipped with the top required skill set after covering this bootcamp. And don't worry, we have a proper placement assistance for you. Also, we don't do any fake promises of job guarantee because that is a scam. We truly believe in upskilling and helping you in your placement journey. So let's talk about the first perspective in detail. So nowadays we all know that the real truth of the industry that it has become very very competitive. Every year there will be lakhs of engineers in India itself who are graduating from their colleges and again want to get into the IT industry. So it's quite obvious that for you to get the data scientist role first you need to get into the IT industry itself because as a fresher if you are directly going to apply for the data scientist role then there will be very very less number of companies who might even give you the chances even if you have acquired the right skill set of the data science and have worked on the project but the company's ultimate requirement ends up on the experience in the data domain on the other hand you will be getting ample number of job opportunities for the software engineering role in every type of company and even if you are going for the on-campus placement or the off-campus opportunities because in the industry almost every company wants software engineer to build their application so it could be a front-end developer, full-stack developer, back-end developer. There are high chances that you will crack those job opportunities very, very easily. And even in your on-campus placements, you would have observed that companies are actually coming for the software engineering profile rather than so many opportunities for the data-related job profiles. There will be, but very few in numbers. So your ultimate target should be to get into the companies for the software engineering role, whatever you get. And at this moment, I would not say anything for for the compensation or the brand name whatever it is because 
the market is very competitive so whatever opportunity you are getting don't think too much about it at least start your career because after that you can easily change the gears of your career and everything i am telling based on my personal experience because when i was in the college i also took a placement in a service based company for the software engineering role and once you get into the companies you are completely raw material companies can use you in different different roles and different different type of projects so what advantage you will be getting there and what are the next steps after getting into the company so there you can start working on the software engineering profile maybe just working on the core software engineering projects as well whatever is assigned to you and in parallel you can work on your aspiration to become a data scientist that means acquiring the right skill sets and working on the good number of projects so what will happen after that first thing you would have acquired a good amount of industry experience that means working on the large scale projects building the software application handling the good user base and many more uh, engineering challenges you would have faced and now you have a good idea that how actually these large scale products are built so even if you spend 1 1.5 years in the first company that is a good experience you have gained and even in your current company after working on the software engineering profile what you can do you can convince your leadership managers that in parallel you have a aspiration to become a data scientist or to take a career transition in that direction and you have these skill set you can definitely showcase to them and even in your current team if your leadership thinks that you can contribute as a data scientist then that is a good opportunity you can easily transition there another thing let's say there are no opportunities in your current team itself then in good product based companies there is an option of internal transition or internal switch so maybe in a different team there is a opportunity for the data scientist role since you have gained the experience you have worked in the company itself you have acquired the data science skill set itself and working on those type of projects it could be self made that is a good amount of skill set to showcase to that team that yes as a data scientist you can contribute and you can move from there as a full time data scientist and this is exactly happened with me i worked in my first company for almost 1 1.5 years as a software engineer then i found my passion for the data engineering and i took a internal transition in my company and yep here i am today working as a full time data engineer so i hope the freshers have got the clear cut idea that how they can make their path easy to become a data scientist so now let's talk about the second perspective means those folks who are already working in a different job profile maybe in a non tech domain itself or completely belonging to non cs kind of streams and they want to become a data scientist then the challenges uh, as similar to the freshers will be there but you can make your path very very easy and i will tell you how so when you will be applying in the companies for the data scientist role again the main challenge will be that previously you have worked in a different job profile maybe in the testing in the marketing as a product manager as a software engineer so that will be helpful but ultimately the companies would be expecting to have some kind of experience in the data domain right so having the experience in the data domain is little bit different than the total overall industry experience so the easiest entry point for this kind of scenario is to start with the data analyst job profile and why i am talking about it because these things are interconnected mostly you talk about the data related job profile somehow here and there they are interconnected and you can definitely make a internal transition at any particular point of time like data analyst to data scientist and even data scientist to data engineer data engineer to data analyst and vice versa whatever path you want to choose so data analyst is something which is definitely the easiest entry point and this is the most easiest entry point for the non tech people and for those people who are scared of the programming or who don't want to get into the programming type of jobs like the hardcore programming so first when we talk about the data scientist job profile there are many skill set which you need to acquire and this is the part which becomes challenging because you have to have a interest in the mathematics statistics part the good data analytical skills python r or the sql database understanding hardcore machine learning and then like whatever is going to be your specialization it could be nlp and it could be computer vision it could be anything large language models are there now generative ai so that 
path like to become a full fledged data scientist top notch data scientist that journey is itself very very tedious so in this situation if you are directly going to enter in the data scientist role or going to apply in the companies again there will be very very challenging chances that you are getting shortlisted so in this condition your target should be to work on your foundation and that foundation layer is the data analyst and why it is easy to grasp and easy to capture for the non tech and the non cs type of folks because of the number of skill sets which you need to work in the data analyst domain there are very few skills which you need to acquire because the data analysts are the one who will act like a bridge between the end customers and the internal analytical team and you are the one who will be giving those data insights the uh, meaningful dashboards you will be delivering it to your end stakeholders it could be any other internal team or the external customers so these guys has to be good in the data analytics part especially the sql the excel statistics and any good and trending dashboarding tool like power bi and tableau and if you know python even on the easy level or some basic levels that is good enough to have so now you can understand and imagine that the amount of skill sets you need to invest on is definitely very less and once you get into the company as a data analyst right you first acquire the skill set and then uh, you will work on the good number of projects after that you already have some sort of industry experience if you are previously working you can leverage all that experience together and directly start applying for the data analyst role because companies are little bit flexible on that job profile and they will definitely give you the chances if you have made your profile really really solid and after doing that once you get into the company for couple of years you can work as a data analyst like maybe 1 1.5 years uh, would be the bare minimum and after that similar kind of opportunities will be in front of you as well any point of time you can show your aspiration to become a data scientist in parallel of your data analyst job you can acquire the skill set it is just like adding one more layer of the data science skills you already know uh, the python sql excel stats or some sort of mathematics the dashboarding in your data analyst role it is just you are adding the advanced part which is like machine learning nlp and other advanced mathematics whatever you want to cover in that part so after adding all those things you can show your aspiration you can show your skills within your internal team and you can actually contribute as a data scientist and once you get into it obviously the team will get to know about your skills your leadership managers then definitely you have started working as a data scientist or if you don't have any opportunity in your current company uh, or maybe it is in a different team you can apply there and since you have already acquired 1 1.5 2 years of relevant experience in the data domain even if you apply for the opportunities outside your company you will get shortlisted very very easily and you will be able to crack the data science role for sure so this is something which will make your path and transition very very easy so these were the two important perspective which i wanted to cover in detail so i hope both of you have got the actual idea like the freshers and folks who are in the non tech non cs and some sort of job profile that how you can make your path easy to get into the data scientist role you have to be patient there you need to acquire the right skill set you should know that which direction you should follow because challenges will be there so prepare smartly work on your goals decide your aspiration from the very beginning itself and if everything is crystal clear in front of you there will be no hesitation and there will be no delays in the decision making so i hope you like this video you like this entire information and that was personalized experience basically i was sharing if you liked it then why are you hesitating just click the like button in the big numbers and share this video in your circle like anyone who is aspire to become a data scientist fresher experience whatever it is and spread the awareness spread the knowledge and if you are new to the channel then smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon to get the updates of these informative videos and don't forget to enroll in our industry and live classroom oriented data analyst bootcamp noob2.o batch the enrollment link has been given in the description and you can use the coupon code as well to get amazing discount so what are you waiting for hurry up and enroll right now i will see you guys really soon in another informative video till then just keep exploring data